Hi, I'm Johannes Film from Fidus Writer, and today I want to show you how uh, we integrated Fidus Writer with Open Journal System. Uh, this has been a project that has taken a few years. Uh, it has been undertaken by different organizations. Most lately, it was by Taktuko Klima, uh, who was the developer working with the University of Kiel. So, um, First of all, we need to have a Fidus Writer installation, so that's what we have here, and an OJS installation, that's what we have here. Um, the Fidus Writer installation has to have a plugin activated to connect with OJS, and OJS needs to have a plugin installed to connect with Fidus Writer. And then the first step is that you need to create two journals inside of the OJS. So at least two journals could be more. So in this case, sleep journal, kitchen journal, that's all there's to it. And then we need to start uh, by activating the plugin. So if I click here on administration, there's the site settings. And on the plugins, I can find in the generic plugins, there's a Fidus Writer plugin, so I activate that. And then inside of this plugin, I look at the settings here and you have to invent an API key. So this could be anything like uh, my secret key, for example. Okay, so this is the key that Fidus Writer needs to know in order to be able to communicate with OJS and otherwise it's supposed to be secret. So save, save that. And now on the Fidus Writer side, we have to go into the administration interface here as well. And look in the OJS section. There's a section about uh, journals. Only see there are zero journals. And now let's try to connect with this OJS instance. Uh, we need to use the key and the address. So it's it's made so that you can combine any number of OJS servers with any number of Fidus Writer servers. So we'll try to connect and there we already see that it did connect, it did find the sleep journal and the kitchen journal. Now we just need to assign one of the of the users on Fidus Writer as the editor for each of these and then register them. So currently we have two users which is the author and the admin, the, the author we'll use to write an article. So let's assign the admin here as being the, the user who will um, be the editor also for those two journals. Okay, so those are connected. Then the next step is we we'll log out here as admins and that try to enter as the author. And so there we already have created a, a very simple document. Yeah, my very first submission. It has some information about an author. It has an, an abstract, it has a body text. It could have a lot more. Fidus Writer is an academic editor, so you could have bibliographic information, formulas, etc. in here. But let's start with this. Uh, so after, ha after having written my article, when I'm ready for the submission, the, uh, I can go into File and then Submit to Journal, and now it will list those journals that we just connected to OJS, uh, to Fidus Writer. So in this case, Sleep Journal and Kitchen Journal. So let's take the Sleep Journal. Um, it takes the abstract automatically. If you don't have an abstract section, you, it will just be empty. You have to fill it out. First name, last name, it took from the author information, the first author, and same with the affiliation. Okay, so that's ready to just submit. We see that the file export has been initiated. We just need to wait for a sign that the submission has been made. And there we see the article has been submitted. 
we then check the email, and this is the email for, for everyone connected to this, all these systems, you can see we get a, an email from the Open Journal system saying that the submission has been made. And uh, we also get, this is the editor of the journal, uh, of the sleep journal, gets a notification here that there's a uh, new submission that came in. Okay, so let's try to log out here. And instead, let's log in as the journal manager. Okay, so if we look in to the, to the dashboard of the journal manager, we should now be able to see uh, submissions. Here's this first submission that came in. We can take a look at it. And so where you, you would usually see the list of, of documents that come with the uh, submission, you instead get a link to Fidus Writer. If you click this link, then you get logged in and you can see the document and it's being shown in different ways depending on what kinds of access rights you have. So right now I'm the, I'm the journal manager and that means I have a lot of rights. The same would be the, uh, the editor would have the same rights here. If I click on it, I get the, I get the submission file and I can actually make some changes in it. So uh, let's say that in in our particular journal we have a uh, we have a policy of of writing some things differently. So for example, uh, we don't want to use the word for submission in the title or some such thing. So we call it something else. We can call it my first article or so. And all this is possible here at this stage. So let's, let's, let's just say for in this case, we just, we want a, a middle initial. So we change that and so we changed it to Johannes S. Wilm. Okay, are we happy with it? So we we'll exit that and then we say, okay, so we'll assign a Let's say in, in an editor, the journal editor here can be the editor of it. So when we are when we're done with that, now we can send it to review. So let's try that. This is sent to review. Okay, and here we see the review screen. Um, again, there's a link to the review files. Uh, and now we are ready to assign reviewers. So, so let's do that. So we can add some reviewers. Uh, we have three reviewers in the system, reviewer Petra, Peter and Hans. And let's try to first assign reviewer Petra to this. So we'll We'll assign reviewer Petra, and she will be a double-blind reviewer. So that means she won't be able to see the name of the uh, author of the article, and the other way around, the author of the article will not be able to see her name. Um, so let's make her that kind of a reviewer. And then let's see what it looks like for Petra. So Petra will see here a review assignment and take a look at it. Uh, before she accepts, she can already take a look at the at the article, but she will only have read rights. So she can't actually do anything here. She can only uh, she can only read it. Um, but once she accepts the review. She can now uh, enter the editor and now she can do her review. Now, the review here is that she can 
actually add comments in different parts of it. So let's say, for example, uh, she wants to mark something on the word here. It says, uh, this is not very specific and it has high priority. And you see it, her name was reviewer Petra, yet here she's called reviewer 13. So she just gets a, a number assigned and that is because it's double blind. Also, you remember there was a, uh, uh, the author name was uh, listed under the title. Well, it's not here for reviewer Petra because she uh, is a double blind reviewer. Okay, then, so now the reviewer is ready to sign, send this back to the journal. So the reviewer goes to submit to journal, can enter a message to the editor and a message for editor and author, just as one normally would do uh, within OJS. So reviewer to the editor, So the editor and author, and so she says we should uh, we should accept it. And so now the review has been submitted and after the review has been submitted uh, the reviewer loses the, uh, the comment rights so now uh, Petra can read the document but cannot actually comment on it and if Petra would to go back to OJS and reloads the page you can see that now the review has been submitted but let's go back to submission as the journal editor. Um, so the journal editor sees this first review, but actually wants to have a second review. And this time, uh, Peter, reviewer Peter is to, is to do it. And reviewer Peter will get this, it will be a, uh, will not be a double blind review, it will be just a half blind review. So the, the author is disclosed, but the reviewer is not. So let's add Peter that way. Okay, so there's Review Peter. Let's log in as Review Peter. There's the submission. Again, uh, Peter has the option of see, uh, looking at the document before actually accepting the review, but once Peter has accepted the review. He can now enter the file here in the review files, look at it, and differently from Petra, Peter can actually see the name of uh, the names of those who wrote the article. Now, Peter can go ahead, and Peter cannot see that there's a comment by by Petra on the word here. So. Uh, Peter gives a different comment on the, now on the word submission. Uh, okay. So thinks that that's high priority. Um, notice that also Peter is called here by, by the term review 14 rather than his name. And that is because for the author, uh, Peter is supposed to be anonymous. So, so Peter submits this to the journal, message to the editor is um,
and so Peter uh, asks for provisions. The review has been submitted again. Now, at this time, after having submitted the the review, Peter gets read access, and so now. Peter can actually see all the comments that are in this document, in this case by review of 14, by review of 13. And in Node.js, the review has been completed. Let's go back to the uh, submission as seen by the, by the editor. Um, so the editor now has two different reviews. So he once the third review, and then we still have review hunts. So we can take review hunts and say, okay, so review hunts gets an open review, meaning that uh, both the author of the article will be able to see Hans's name and uh, Hans can see the name of those uh, the person who wrote it. So we add the reviewer. We can take a look at what it will look like for Hans. So Hans accepts the review, opens the file, and now differently from the last two times, because this is an open review, uh, Hans can both see the, the comments of previous reviewers and can see the name of the author. And also, if Hans's, uh, Hans's let's, let's, uh, let Hans just select like the word important here, they could be overlapping, but it's, uh, it's not really making a whole lot of sense here. So Hans is adding something here and you can see Differently from the other two times, we actually see the name of, of uh, Hans in there. So it says review Hans. And so uh, submits that and submits it back to the journal. So the message is um, So the recommendation here is for publishing. We have submitted. And now also Hans only has read access rights. Going back to OJS, the submission has been completed. Logging out in Hans's account. We are back as the view of the journal editor. Um, so now three reviews have been done. Now the uh, the Editor can now, for example, decide that uh, revisions are required. So, revisions required. And this is an email that will go out to the original author. So, the original author should be getting an email now. Um, we'll then head back to the Fidus Writer instance. The 
author. And so here, the author can now see uh, there's the f a very first submission. This is the file that the, the author wrote originally. And this file, the author can continue to edit. It's not connected to the rest of the submission. And uh, as the submission progressed, this folder submission 14 was created. And in there are the files that the, the uh, author's access to. So there's a file version 1.00. This is after the uh, journal manager edited the file. So the author can see here that an S was added in the name. So it says Johannes S. Wilm instead of just Johannes Wilm. Um, and then there's the, the, the 3.1.5. That means the in stage three, first round, uh, the, the second, so, uh, the second uh, file, that is the revision file. And there the author has uh, write access. So this is the version that the author is supposed to look at, take a look at the comments, look at the review that they received by email, and then uh, make the changes that are required. So in this case, uh, so the term article is being asked for. This is article uh, is important and the word here is unclear, so we'll say where we are. Lund, Sweden. Okay, so they, these have been uh, resolved. Now, obviously, the author is supposed to delete this part as well, but let's say the author just forgot about that, which happens. Um, so the author now submits it back to the journal. This cannot be undone. So after sending it in, see the resubmission was successful. The author now has lost the, the right to write in this document. Now it's just readable. And so now even if the author notices that there's something extra here that was supposed to be gone, um, there's nothing the author can do about it. Um, but fortunately, if we're going back to OJS, we can now see that uh, the, the the editor can see in here that on the revisions there is a file here. So the the um, the okay. So there's a part here which is not supposed to be there. Um, submission is important uh, is important here. So the editor can just remove that as the editor has write access and can can close it again. And let's say the, the editor now says we accept the submission. So we accept the, the submission. And so the file is being sent into uh, the copy editing process, reporting the editorial decision. OK, and so again, we get a link. If now the copy editor or the uh, journal editor clicks on that, um, they're basically back to a, a version of the document that con uh, includes all the uh, editions the, the, that were done by the author throughout the review process. But also, it's now again possible to change the parts that are in the author line. So let's say if we wanted to add somebody, uh, that, that could be done. If we wanted to remove somebody to edit something, that could be done again once you're out of the out of the, uh, the first stages. Now, after doing all the processing here that is needed, changing more text, uh, making it uh, adhere to the format that we need, we can export it. And we can export, for example, to JATS or to uh, LaTeX, HTML, EPUB, the number of different formats that one can choose. 